From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. The desert nation of Mauritania. Once a year in the oasis of Tirjit, families gather to celebrate the festival of Getna. It's a day for remembering how life once was here when the oasis was the center of a thriving community. But since severe drought hit the country in the mid-1960s, the desert has been advancing, destroying the country's oases and forcing nomads and farmers to abandon their traditions and move to the cities. Over the years, international donors have tried to stop the sand, and there are many sites here littered with the signs of those good but failed intentions. President of a local farmers association, Diabdarahim Uld Hangi. The Westerners come with their ways of doing things and immediately put in place a ready-made program without consulting with the local people who they should be listening to. But now there's a new approach. Mohammed is over a thousand kilometers from his home in Morocco, but he and his wife Aisha have come to stay in the oasis village of Chingeta for six months. Farmers here have overused the water supply, their wells are drying up, and the date palms are dying. The Moroccans have come to share their own experiences with the locals and thereby find a solution to their problem. And these farmers are more inclined to pay attention to people like them, who understand the challenges of oasis and desert life. The basic difference is that the technicians from the global south know the natural environment, the climate, and the culture of our country. They also understand the people better, as they are more like them, and they have a better understanding of their lives. This innovative program is financed by the International Fund for Agricultural Development, or IFAD, the country program manager, Christiana Sparacino. They've established this partnership where they worked out solutions together, and uh, the farmers felt that they were like their, their family members with no ready-made solutions and uh, as equal partners in the things that have been developed together. Already the farmers are seeing results. Yields have more than doubled. New vegetables have been introduced, such as carrots and turnips. And now the rare site of wheat growing in the desert can be seen all part of a project which aims to improve the lives of 250,000 people in Mauritania by helping to breathe life back into this desert nation. This report was produced by Declan McCormick for the United Nations.